Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to a very special edition of AWS This Week and we're on the ground at reInvent 2022 in Las Vegas. So AWS has announced so many new and exciting products and services this week that we've only got enough time to cover a few of our favorites such as Lambda, Snap Start and more. I'm Ryan Cronenberg and I'm Faye Ellis and you're watching AWS This Week reInvent special for 2022. During Peter DeSanta's reInvent keynote on Monday, he announced a new Lambda feature, Lambda Snap Starts, and this eliminates the cold start process for Lambda functions. After the standard initialization, Lambda Snap Starts takes a snapshot of the function state and caches it for later. According to AWS organizations, using Lambda Snap Starts could see a 90% improvement in cold start times. In other exciting serverless news, AWS announced the availability of AWS Application Composer, which is a visual interface for developing distributed asynchronous applications. In this drag and drop interface, developers can connect services on the visual canvas to prototype their architectures and Application Composer can then export this infrastructure directly to CloudFormation or serverless application model scripts. And to date, this is the most intuitive AWS service for maintaining a visual representation of your serverless application. And it's a great way to get started in serverless development. AWS SimSpace Weaver is a compute service that runs real-time spatial simulations across up to 10 EC2 instances. And you can now collaborate and view simulations with multiple users in real time. City managers and event planners helped develop AWS SimSpace Weaver, and it's especially good at tracking crowd movements in complex environments with many moving parts. So city planners can fine tune their emergency response systems and event planners can identify the impacts of large events or sports games. The sustainability pillar was introduced as a new addition to the well-architected framework at reInvent 2021. And AWS have continued to commit to a sustainable future. In Adam Zalipsky's Tuesday morning keynote, AWS pledged to use 100% renewable energy by 2025 and be fully water neutral by 2030. And this pledge was followed up with a number of announcements to help facilitate a greener future, including the new Inferentia 2 chip, which is designed to deliver high performance at the lowest cost for your deep learning inference applications. And with Inferentia 2, you can get four times the throughput and up to 10 times lower latency compared to first generation Inferentia. And they are also investing in scalable, reliable data brand protocol or SRD, which is slated to deliver significant performance boosts for EBS IO2 volumes and elastic network adapters as well. And this is going to be great for customers running latency sensitive workloads in the cloud. AWS is continuing to target industry verticals with new services. Among those are healthcare and bioinformatics. Amazon Omics helps organizations to store and query biological data to extract meaningful insights from genetic sequencing. Researchers can import, optimize, and analyze population scale data with a few commands. Omics is addressing the long-standing usability issues in tooling for this type of analysis and makes storage much more cost-effective. AWS has also made a huge effort to improve the developer experience when it comes to building projects from the ground up. In Dr. Werner Vogel's keynote speech on Thursday, he announced the preview availability of Amazon Code Catalyst. And Code Catalyst is a unified software development service that provides automatically provisioned CICD pipelines, issue management systems, on-demand development environments, and simple collaboration tools. And Code Catalyst even provides blueprints for common project-related resources that development teams can deploy with minimal operational overhead. Amazon Security Lake is currently in preview for select regions, and the feature centralizes all the security data from cloud, on-premise, or custom systems to increase the visibility and transparency of security across your organization. Because it's all centralized in a security lake, it's easier to analyze and protect your organization's data. Now your analysts and engineers can identify, investigate, and respond to security events faster with more accuracy. 
Along with the announcement of AWS SimSpace Weaver, we heard a lot about AWS creating tools to bring 3D simulations and augmented reality solutions to AWS customers. And one such service announced during Thursday's keynote was AWS Ambit Scenario Designer, which is a suite of tools designed specifically to streamline 3D environment and content creation at scale. An Ambit Scenario Designer is a plugin for the Unreal Engine 4 and can help users design simulation scenarios for autonomous vehicles, robotics, and more, even with very little 3D design experience. A series of new Redshift features makes data ingestion smoother and more reliable. You can now auto-copy any file supported by Redshift's copy command into your data warehouse automatically when it's added to an S3 location. The Zero ETL Aurora integration with Redshift allows you to snag data from multiple sources into a single Redshift instance within seconds of a new transaction. AWS Step Functions is a serverless orchestration service that helps users create and visualize stateful workflows that span across many AWS resources. And this week at reInvent, AWS announced the release of Distributed Map for AWS Step Functions. And this feature allows for massively improved, large-scale parallel processing of array data. And for context, the concurrency limit for the current map state is 40 parallel iterations at a time. But with distributed map for step functions, this limit has been increased to allow up to 10,000 concurrent invocations, which is well above the concurrency limit for many other AWS services. So lake formation has been popular for Amazon S3 data lakes, and AWS now brings lake formation to Amazon Redshift, allowing you to enforce governance and security policies across business units. And this feature centrally manages access to Amazon Redshift data shares down to tables and view access. In another effort to more easily integrate distributed AWS services in event-driven architectures, AWS has announced the release of EventBridge Pipes, which is now the simplest way to create point-to-point -point integrations between producers and consumers, even when the underlying services use different technologies to communicate. So instead of writing integration code to bridge between services, AWS will now do all the heavy lifting and the development teams can then focus on the business logic that makes their applications unique. Dr. Werner Vogels closed his keynote on Thursday morning with a look to the future as AWS continues to explore the frontier of quantum computing and its implications on the future of simulation technology. And as simulations become more complex, the compute power needed to run the simulations grows exponentially. Even with modern processors, simulation engineers can still quickly run out of power to efficiently run their simulations. And quantum computers may be the next step to help advance these technologies. AWS has already released AWS Bracket to bring a taste of quantum computing to the public. And it's exciting to think about all the ways that we might be building with quantum computing in the upcoming years and decades. Well, that's a wrap from reInvent 2022. We hope you've all enjoyed this as much as we have. And we look forward to having you join us at our next normal episode of AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus. Gurus.